we are back. I'm on my way. You already know. I'm already repping my Dodger attire for this event tonight. Uh, Donut Media. We're going out there at the Peterson Museum. And yeah, it's going to be fun because I spent most of, well, actually all of my day basically trying to get this thing ready. Didn't get everything done, but I put everything on. I put the corner lights back on. I put the sign markers on. I put everything I needed to put on. So now this shit looks like stock as fuck, but like, you can hear that fucking exhaust, bro. Like, woo! So we're gonna have some fun tonight, fellas. I'm gonna go around and see if I can get a, a autograph and a picture with, um, with Papi over there. He's right here. And uh, damn Humphreys, I love you. I know everyone loves you and shit. You're such a cool guy. But yeah, right now I'm on the way to go pick up my girlfriend because yeah, why not? I kind of want to introduce her to this whole car culture because it's pretty fucking dope. So hopefully we meet some people out there and, you know, talk and stuff. And hopefully we make this an interesting night. Uh, but I'm excited as hell to meet new people and just people in general that are in the car community and want to get this fucking like adrenaline bug, like fucking vaccinated or some shit. I don't know. But all I know is right now is I'm fucking excited. I have not been this excited since probably my fucking like football games back in high school so i'm like pumped right now and i'm like excited and i'm happy right now so oh man we're gonna have some fun so what i was able to get done today i fucking like started waxing and wet sanding some shit and let's just say stuff didn't go um as planned and i kind of stopped myself before i could do anything more to the car so nothing bad happened you know i just you know my we gotta utilize, we gotta utilize that tunnel, fellas. I'm just, I'm um, gonna get on the tent right now. Oh, boys, boys, I'm gonna have to. Oh, am I gonna swoop in? Oh, this guy totally just let me dick slap him. Yeah, dude, I'm so excited. I don't even really know where this place is. I'm just know it's in downtown. I think I've seen it before. Hopefully it's close to my girlfriend to work because uh, she is located in the downtown area. So we're going to go pick her up right now and see if we can make it on time because apparently at 6 o'clock that's when uh, it's like the early car like I guess drive-bys or whatever and stuff. So. so yeah, this should be fun. So we'll get some good footage hopefully. Let's go. <laughs> oh, and what do we have over here? Sick ass type R. Name a more iconic duo. Do it. I'm sure they're all crying back there because James likes to do that. <laughs> all right, so we're going to bring these hot boys out. Uh, let's introduce Donut's creative director and guy always giggling behind the camera, Jesse. <laughs> He's also a part-time male model, for those that didn't know. So, next up is Donut Media's favorite son, host of Wheelhouse, Dylan! Look at that shirt, folks. He went all out. Walmart had that thing for $9.99. He said, that one's mine. We love you. 
All right, don't tell his wife he's here. <laughs> Not a good sign. Uh, host of Science Garage and Mr. Wizard in Training, Bart! There he is. You can't produce my last, you can't my last name. Below the thing, miter, no one can pronounce his last It's fine, it's fine. I didn't, I didn't know this thing was on. Don't worry about that. <laughs> now, rumor has it, there's two tickets waiting for his dad at Will Call. <laughs> He's not showing up. <laughs> Host of Up to Speed and head writer at the Donut Media House, James! <laughs> What's up? This is fucking insane. <laughs> James is gonna cry already. Here's Kitsu. This is Kitsu. Friggin' insane. What's up? Sorry. Don't cry, James. <laughs> we'll edit that out later. <laughs> we'll, we'll fix it in post. Yeah, don't yeah, worry about that. Colby, make sure you bleep that. We got the edit. Don't worry. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm here with Tony Angelo from Home Run Garage. You're a high school kid, your skateboard breaks, and you've got to get a car. We probably spent three grand on this thing. Totally changed the way it drives, the way it sounds, the way it looks. Now we're getting this thing up on the lift. We're going to do a performance clutch, exhaust, and a couple other things we can do to make a little bit more power out of here. I would be caught dead in this thing now. Well, the fact is you're driving, there's a good chance I could be caught dead in this thing. What do you think the best thing comes from the Honda CRX, specifically the first generation SI model. The first first? Yeah, the actually, I, I have one like 87. 87, I have an 87 Civic CRX okay. SI. What are, your, what are your impressions of it? Well, I think they're cool because number one, super light, super compact. 2,100 pounds back. Right, yep. right. I love the rear visibility. Yep, they're super, super clear. Cool. No blind spot whatsoever. Right? It's yeah. an awesome little car. Uh -huh. like, many people made weird little hatchbacks, uh -huh. but not like that, because that thing is, Honda, there's no compromise. It's, Totally utilitarian. You can put yep. a bunch of stuff in the back, yep. and it's still sporty and fun. I love those cars. Exactly. Actually. I thank you so much for, for sure, your yeah. time. Thank, thank you. Good. Enjoy. Thank you. Eventually. Tomorrow. All right, guys. So it's the day after the Donut Media event, and I've got to say, holy shit. So a lot of very cool cars there. A lot of very cool people there. So during my time there at the Donut Media event, I was able to meet somebody you would say pretty influential to the whole car community. You might have heard of him. And his name is John C. Tony Angelo? Yeah, so he came up because he's a huge fan apparently of the channel and I was able to meet him and ask him questions. So like I said, guy is super humble. This guy literally could have sat there and talked to me for hours. Just for respect wise, I wanted to make sure that he was enjoying his night there because he was also a fan of the Donut Media staff there. Uh, but a lot of things went down there. Like I said, we had the Q&A after. Really funny guys, uh, very humble beginnings. There was a huge takeaway that I got from this and it's never too late to kind of pick something up and try it. And if you really follow something that you love, eventually something's gonna cross your path that's gonna allow you to fulfill that purpose that you set in your mind when you were seven years old or even 18 years old in college, 25 years old, it doesn't really matter. But I really learned a lot and I understood the real principle of like they say humble beginnings and they stayed humble the whole way they're still humble they still can't believe everything that's going on and i think that's just a huge thing for me to have experience and i just really hope that you guys go out there and seek whatever it is that you want to find and make better anything that you see that interests you i hope you guys go at it full force and really do some good with it like these guys here these guys are you know into cars and also into filmmaking and stuff and that's how a lot of youtubers start off and it's kind of just eye-opening because if you really do something and pursue something 100% of the time and you put all your effort into it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pay off, you know what I mean? So...
And like always, stay boosted. Thank you so much, man. Thank you.